The first part of the problem, we have to find the second excited state of the simple harmonic oscillator. So the way we can do that is we start with the ground state of the simple harmonic oscillator, which is defined as this portion right here that we found in the textbook. And then also explained in the textbook is the raising operator. So every time we apply the raising operator to one of the states, it just bumps it up to the next state. So this will eventually equal the first state, and then we raise it again, and then we'll eventually get to the second state. And this is the definition of the raising operator for the simple harmonic oscillator right now. So if we go ahead and apply that to the ground state, we'll go ahead and get the first excited state. So this is a global constant, and so is that. So we'll just go ahead and put one over two h bar m omega under the square root. And just to save time, I'm just gonna put dot, dot, dot for this portion right here. Very official constant here. So now we're gonna go ahead and distribute this portion to these two terms here. So the spatial derivative acts on this and we'll go ahead and, so it's a, a negative, so it turns it into positive. m omega derivative of x squared is just two x over two times h bar, right? Uh, before we move on, let's just go ahead and cancel out the like terms. And of course, the exponential remained unchanged from the first derivative of x. And then plus m omega x times e to the negative m omega x squared over 2 h bar, right? And so as we can see here, this is like terms of both, so we can go ahead and pull that out. And then all that's left over is m omega x, and this is m omega x, so let's go ahead and put that out there. So that would be 2 m omega x over uh, 2 times h bar m omega, all under the square root, times that global constants, times our exponential here, e m omega x squared over 2 h bar. So I'm just going to do something a little bit different here. I'm just going to pull this over to the side, get rid of the x on this side, and just put it to the x here. Uh, I'll, that The reason why I did that will be important in the second part of this question. So at the end of the day, this is a bunch of uh, constants, and then here's our variables over here. So this is actually the first excited state of the quantum simple harmonic oscillator. I'll just put psi sub 1. Now to get psi sub 2, we got to raise it again. So we'll go ahead and do the raising operator acting on the first excited state. And let's save some time. That's not it. Let's save some time. Copy and paste. It's 2020, so we have the technology to do that. And then we'll just do copy and paste. So that was the raising operator. Now this is the first excited state. So let's go ahead and raise it up. First thing to note is that these are all constants right here too. So we'll go ahead and write those down first. 2m omega over 2h bar m omega, not under the square root since we had two of them. And then that big old glob of constants here. And then now let's go ahead and apply this term to this glob of variables over here. So we have our negative h bar, the spatial derivative of this, we're gonna have to do some chain rules. So to make this a little bit more clear, I'm gonna do a square bracket. So parentheses, so we'll do the square root of x, which is just one times e m omega x squared over two h bar, all right. And then, and then the, let's just do this x times the derivative of that exponential, which would be, uh, let's see here, negative. So I'm just going to turn this into negative out in front. Negative m omega 2x over 2h bar, right? And then times the exponential because it is an exponential and doesn't really change. All right, and parentheses. And then also this being distributed into here, so we'll get an x squared. And then, let's see here, uh, m omega e, and for this, I'm just gonna put uh, negative dot 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 x squared here. All right, and then, and the brackets here. Okay, so at this point, let's take a step back and look at everything that's in common. We see that the exponential is in common to all three terms within the brackets, so 
we'll go ahead and pull that exponential out. This one raised to the one fourth term here. So um, we'll pull that exponential out, e to the negative m omega x squared over 2h bar. All right, so then now we can go ahead and distribute that. Um, let's see here. Bear with me real quick. That actually, there we go. Should have done this already. Cancel out the like terms real quick. So that's all that's left over is one over h bar. So let's go ahead and distribute that one over h bar in there uh, afterwards. Let's just make it negative here, negative h bar. What I'm doing right now is just distributing to the h bar in after we pulled these exponential terms out. So let's see here, negative, positive, uh, h bar, x, m, omega 2x over See, I got to get better at making sure I cancel out the like terms here. Um, that was an exponential. And then plus uh, h bar, or sorry, x squared m omega. Um, there was no h bar that was distributed into this one here. So that's right. Now we can distribute this h bar into these three terms here. So let's just go ahead and do so. So if we have that glob of constants, right, one-fourth bracket uh, so it's negative one and then plus uh, let's see here oh, that's actually an x squared um m omega and then this was these two term these two uh h bars canceled out so it's actually under m omega under h bar since we're distributing at uh, h bar n, and then let's see here, x squared, uh, this is, there we go. Now it's starting to come to fruition. And then I'll just put dot, dot, dot here for that term. All right, so let's start making things a little bit more clean and actually write out all the like terms. So let's see here, I kind of forgot m omega over pi squared. So this is m omega over pi h bar, one fourth. And now we have, let's see here, since this is actually gonna be two here, so two m omega over h bar, uh, x squared minus one, and then e to the negative m omega x squared over two h bar, so that is what we're looking at for our term here. And then again, it's important to note this x squared and then this x, uh, this uh, exponential with the x. Uh, that's going to be important for the next part. But in the end of the day, this is our approved uh, second excited state of the quantum simple harmonic oscillator.